guys, welcome back. Have you subscribed yet? If you haven't, make sure you do. Just here, just here. And click notifications and give me a thumbs up to any videos you like. Don't forget, guys. Um, so, sorry about that. That's Lola wanting to come into the kitchen. She's a very expressive dog, this dog. Definitely. Right, she'll put her out. Typical woman. Um, so, yesterday's dinner uh, was the Gongbeo chicken, which was amazing. And if you remember, I had some of the um, oyster sauce liquid left. So, I've been marinating my beef overnight. And today I'm going to make dinner with it. So I'm quite excited. Um, so I nipped to Tesco's on the way um, to work this morning and bought uh, some lunch to some baby sweet corn, some broccoli spears and a little bit of um, spring onion as well. And I had some peppers and mushrooms in the fridge. So I'm gonna use that for it. So first of all, I'm gonna pop the beef mixture into one of my hot Birkhoff pans with no oil. As you know me, don't use oil, um, I don't need to with these pans. I'm just gonna heat the pan up to make sure it's really warm. And, um, and I'm gonna show you what I do with it. Okay. Okay, so here's my beef mixture in there. So that's just gonna warm through. Okay, so here's my veg. So I've got some pepper, mushrooms, broccoli, um, sweet corn. There is some, yeah, there's some um, spring onions and some munch too. And then I've got some chopped um, chilli here to go on top. And the top tip that I do is I only need half a chilli and I don't want to waste it. So I pop it in a container, put the lid on, and then that goes in the freezer. And I just take it out as and when I need it. So nothing goes to waste at all. I've also got here some asparagus because hubby said he really wanted asparagus today as well. So just boiling that up a little bit. Um, sorry, you've steamed so you probably can't see what that is. But that'll go on top of this dish as well. Okay, so I just added about a teaspoon of um, soy sauce as well into that. Um, I'm just gonna give that a little mix. And then I'm gonna pop all my veg in. So let's put that in. Okay, so that is all the veg in. And Lola's just playing with the noisiest toy in the house at my feet. So I just give that a little stir so that some of the marinade covers it as well. Let me just there we go. And then I'm going to pop my lid on for a few minutes, as is usual for me, just to get the heat in and to um, cook down some of the vegetables. Over here, actually, for tomorrow, I'm just cooking myself some wholemeal rice to make a salad with for lunch. Um, just haven't had pasta for ages. I should just said wholemeal rice, didn't I? I'm cooking myself some wholemeal pasta, not rice, um, so I can have some um, pasta salad for lunch. I said I've not had pasta for ages, so I just fancy it. So yeah. Right. So I've just topped my asparagus um, onto it, and that's it. So I am ready to serve, and it tastes. Lovely, I just have a little uh, sip of the uh, sauce, just see what it's like, um, but it looks lovely as well, doesn't it? So yeah, let's get this dished up. And here it is. So I've actually just topped it off with a little bit of cheese and some salted peanuts. So I am going to have to sin this by three sins, but I think it's going to be worth it. And I have put some of the chilies on top. So yeah, oh, that looks amazing and I really can't wait to try it. So... I need to find a husband and I will tell you the verdict. Right guys, do you want the really, really honest feedback on that dinner tonight? Well, apart from Lola's gone for the water, like she does, all the food, when I've got the camera on. Um, yeah, so what do you think of it? It was amazing. It was absolutely gorgeous. Um, sometimes when you just, you know, take bits of one recipe and just throw things in and change it around, it, it just comes out stunning. Um, and I find that I cook better that way. Um, it's just something I've always loved doing, just throwing ingredients in and just you know marrying them up. And um, yeah, I'm gonna do that again as well, guys. I have to say it was worth making double the um, oyster sauce um, liquid yesterday, um, just to be able to marinate that beef and also not to waste it from Sunday dinner. So yeah, that was gorgeous. So now I just need to clean up after myself because um, my Birkhoff pans don't go in the dishwasher. 
they have to be hand washed and it's fine because nothing sticks to it at all um, they are very very quick and easy to clean in fact I'll show you them um, just here um, and washed just to prove that nothing has burned or stuck on them there you go so I had no oil or anything in there and everything cooked beautifully so yeah that'll take me minutes just to clean that off Oh, I'll also show you here, this is the prep for tomorrow's dinner because it's my way in. So I've got in there a tin of um, chopped tomatoes, a chopped courgette, some green beans and some red lentils and a chicken stock cube. And then I'm going to add to that some um, boneless, skinless uh, chicken thighs and I'll put that in and it'll go on tomorrow morning. So it just means when I get home from um, Slim World tomorrow night I haven't got to cook I'll get hubby to put some sweet potatoes in the oven for me when he gets in um, and I can just walk in when it's late and eat rather than sort of getting starving so yes I'm chuffed with that and then going back to my pasta that I cooked not my whole wheat rice as I said my whole wheat pasta um, I've just added 10 ounces of cheese to all of that now that's probably gonna take two dinners actually that's not one dinner it's just in here to cool and I've also just topped it with um, this skinny mayonnaise um, and that'll go in. I've got a salad in the fridge already. Um, my fridge. So yeah, so there you can just see through there. I've got ham, lettuce, tomato and some cucumber. And I'll just top that with the pasta. So that's absolutely brilliant. And then um, I've already made in here, I've got some fresh mango and some fat-free Greek yogurt for me. And then hubby's down here. He's got um, full fat with a load of seeds and nuts on there and he has got a similar salad but he's also got things like um what's he got in there oh he's got um some olives and things like that and i've got on his some chili mayo which he loves and then i've also got myself a little pot of grapes to take with me tomorrow which i'll take with some fruit as well now i also want to be very honest today because i've been at a work um meeting um, which is off site and um, got there this morning and they had freshly baked pastries absolutely loads of different varieties and they smell gorgeous and a gluten wheat free and dairy free banana cake which all looked amazing but I'm on a mission aren't I so I actually had two bananas I did and then at tea break there was even more pastries so I had an apple but I was hungry and I was like oh really eat something and I didn't want to go for the pastries so I picked up a packet of pretzels and a packet of these these are called um, cherry berry nuts and seeds mix I picked up first of all thinking well actually that doesn't sound too bad it sounds sort of similar to you know sort of healthy food things like that anyway I quickly looked on the slim world app the pretzels worked out four sins so way hey, I was happy with that and then obviously I couldn't find this on some more that so I looked at the calories right and I'm no joke guys I haven't got my glasses on now but it's nearly 450 calories just for actually that's for 100 and this is a 40 gram bag so this is going to be just about 200 calories and I tried to work them the sins out on that and I just thought you know what I don't want to waste my sins on that because there's not that much in there um so I bought it at home that's going to go in the drawer and hope you can have it one day as a snack. So yeah, so I have been very, very good. In fact, what I did, I took some satsumas and a pear. So I had that instead. So I'm trying to be good. My weigh-in's tomorrow. Um, how well do I think I've done? I don't know. I did have a few glasses of wine at the weekend, but they were within my sins. Didn't have... Um, any sort of snacky things. I did have a little sliver of um, Bakewell tart on Sunday, but again, that would have been with my sins. So I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? You know, I've got what I've got now. I want to lose 11 pounds. It always slows down now. So I did half pound, not a pound last week, half pound. I wanted two pound this week. I don't know. We'll wait and see, won't we? All I can say is that I'm trying, I'm writing everything down in my book, um, my pinch and non book, um, which I am loving. And um, I've got six weeks on Friday. So even if I don't get more than a pound, I'll try and just keep losing and losing and losing. I'm going to get closer and closer on. I say, guys, hey, do you know what? 
ultimately you can't do any more than you do. I'm not going to starve myself. I'm not going to stop myself having treats anymore. I'm going to use my sins if I want them. If I don't need them, I'm not going to have them. I have um, been going and having slices of ham from my fridge yesterday, especially when I work from home when I was feeling peckish, um, because it's free. And, you know, ultimately, if I'm hungry, I've stopped anything that's really, really naughty in the house. There's no chocolates, there's no biscuits or anything like that, although they're not my go-to food normally. Um, but I am keeping all temptations away from myself. Um, and just literally making sure that my fruit bowl is stocked up as much as possible. My fridge is full of um, the hams. And I've got cheese now. I must make the effort of having a healthy extra A. Um, I think today I've still not had a full healthy extra A. Um, and you're allowed to. So if I do get peckish later, I may just have a piece of cheese. Um, I've also only had half my healthy extra B today. Because I only had 20 grams of grape nuts um, with my yoghurt. And I had mango as well, which is... The other half you've got, um, you've seen in the fridge for tomorrow. So I can have a high five bar later if I want it. So yeah, so I'm not starving myself, um, but I'm just managing what I'm eating and I'm planning my sins. Okay, I didn't plan to have those pretzels this morning, but I did think about them before I had them and decided that I could have them in my sins. So I did sort of plan them and I put a packet um, away so because I'm not going to eat those because I don't want to waste sins like that. So yeah. Hopefully, um, I'm going to do this. So guys, I'll update you on my weight loss this week. If you enjoyed that recipe today, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Click here and click notifications. And I will see you soon, very soon. On Sunday, I'm going to put on um, another of my Dubrovnik photographs of Montenegro. Um, just so you can see where I went um, but I will keep obviously posting foodies and my weight loss things as well so that's just a dip into um, my holiday I'm trying to sort of space them out so I don't bore you too much guys I promise all right guys so I'm going now to sit on the sofa and chill out for the evening and think about what I'm going to do for the rest of the week food wise you know what I'm having tomorrow um, but I don't know what I'm going to have on Thursday Friday or Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday next week. And I need to put a food shop on as well for the weekend. So I will speak to you soon and um, have a good evening, guys. Bye.